This is Justice, and welcome to another tech and intro vid for Jury in SF5 Season 2. Now, if you're finding it hard to deal with your opponent's dash-ups, hopefully these tips will help you out. As we know, in SF5, it's genuinely hard to stop people dashing in and grabbing you, or setting you up. And realistically, it's impossible to stop in a dash in every time. But with the right mindset, you can at least predict and be ready to do something about it. Of all of Jury's moves and abilities, I found that her target combo, Kyoret Sushu, performed by pressing medium punch and then either forward or back heavy punch, is viable in this scenario. But of course there are other options she can do too, which I'll explore later. Basically, the target combo can act as an easy trap for people running up, as it will only work if the medium punch connects. You can freely press medium punch and then heavy punch, but only medium punch will appear on screen as the target combo only works on hit, or block. Therefore, in the event someone dashes up, they will collide with the medium punch and the heavy punch will knock them away. Of course, this target combo is very unsafe, but there's something we can do about that too. And luckily, this works for both when the opponent blocks the target combo and when it hits. Once the second part of the target combo appears, charge her LK4 Renkaku, or LK4 as we'll call it from now on. If you already have it, she'll let loose the fireball, making the target combo safe, or juggling the opponent. If this juggles, you can then choose to do several different enders, depending where you are on the screen or what fits. You can do LP Tensenrin, EX Tensenrin, Heavy Kick Ryodamsatsu, Heavy Kick Fua if you have it, or EX Fua, which is the best follow up for corner carry especially. Similarly, if the target combo hits and you don't have LK Fua, she'll charge it in the empty space and you're free to follow up with LP Tensenrin or EX Fua. Regardless, you'll have enough stages in the combo to confirm which option you want to go for. It's important to note that you should never commit to any of these options, as most of the enders will always be unsafe, nor should you always attempt to do a simple follow-up such as NP-10 Senrin or EX-10 Senrin, unless you're very sure that the target combo actually hit, and be very much aware of scenarios where your timing will be off and or the opponent will dash up and crouch, causing the target combo to whiff, and this is punishable too. And as I mentioned earlier, it is impossible to deal with absolutely every time it happens. Other options that don't necessitate a follow-up, but are still useful, are buttons such as Crouch Medium Punch, which has further reach, but slightly longer startup time than Standing Medium Punch, and Standing Medium Kick, as well as Crouching Medium Kick. Where possible, you can either choose to buffer or confirm into EX Pura, which will also be safe on block. You can also do the first hit of Standing Medium Kick into EX Pura, but the timing is very strict, especially if you're trying to do it against a dash in. Crouching Medium Kick is the best due to its reach, and it hits low, allowing it to combo to EX Pura the longest distance. However, if you can practice getting used to doing the target combo when someone dashes, you'll be able to at least put in the mind of your opponent that you can deal with it. Now nah, you just have to worry about whatever YOLO thing they'll do next. <laughs> Hope that helped. See you next time.